Welcome to the Arts and Medicine Studio. We have a special program here for you today. I have Ishan with me. Hello, Ishan. Hello. Good to see you again, Nita. Do you remember that when we have an open studio that not just the kids do art, who else comes and participates in the studio work? Everybody. The whole family joins in. We got moms, we got dads, we got siblings, even grandmas and grandpas and great grandmas and great grandpas. And uncles and aunts and, and, and friends of the family. But not often do we get to witness work by the entire family done on one surface. And that is so unique and so important. I remember, for example, I remember a dad sketching and then letting his daughter continue doing that. Or remember the video where we had uh, Ben who was doodling with his daughter and what an amazing composition came together. Ishan, what's your favorite moment of family members creating on one surface? One definitely comes to mind, Nitsa, when a mom and her a kid both together made this amazing painting of a traditional Mexican garment that was so fun to watch being made and just watch uh, what colors each of them picked and how each of them really allowed for the creativity of the other and compromised but also understood. And do you remember the kid that she, her mom and dad and sister created their own paintings of their visit to the Grand Canyon. And then we put the whole thing together to make one piece of artwork from it. I do remember that, that was really cool. And how about the father and the son, the large piece we, we had on the floor where they traced each other and then colored it. And what an amazing composition that was. Absolutely, and, and so, so many more beautiful artworks, each one of them really unique. What we'd like to present you with today is a peek into a life of a family we met on Instagram. A family that the great, the great grandma was a trained artist in Costa Rica. Her daughter, the grandma, became an amazing portrait artist. Her daughter took a different profession but when she had her kids, she decided that she wanted to honor grandma or Tita for the art that was flowing in their life, but by having her children create art with her, then she takes it to her mom, to grandma, and grandma gets picky. You know, she's really trained. She knows all the rules. So she gets the shadows and all the detail that make the painting balance and make sense. And they have art that represent the entire family. Take a look at how they do that. It's really interesting to see here how it's not just about, you know, creating something new, about creating something that is your vision, but also compromising and sharing the same creative space with another person who is from a different generation, has different ideas and different perspectives, and really uh, come together and create one artwork as a family. It's really special. And doing something together, so many times I feel so, so possessive of my art and I don't want anyone to touch it because that's mine. And it's so inspiring to think that on the wall I could have a piece from my, my grandkids, my son, myself, maybe my mother, and that on the wall would make me feel so happy. I wish I had one. I really like the piece that they did with the grandma where they worked with 
cutouts of drawing the kids made of bugs and added them to painting that grandma made. So sometimes mom and the kids would start, sometimes grandma would have a painting that they'll work on, but the end result is that as a family, they work together and create a combined memory where everyone can remember in their own style, their own age, their own interpretation. We hope this really inspires you to think about how to collaborate with your family members. And if you do, please send me an email with an image of what you did at amnitsa at gmail.com and enjoy, enjoy being together. And hopefully soon we will all be creating together again. Happy spring, everyone. Happy spring and bye-bye.